Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, we'll be making the farmhouse coaster. These can be made in either one solid color or two-toned. I love the beautiful texture of these and they work up fast. If you like this design, check out the video I did last week for the farmhouse dish set, which includes a matching dish cloth, towel, and hanging towel, and I also have the farmhouse pot holder. I'll leave links to all of these down below and you can also find all of these patterns for free on my blog. If you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get making! For today's tutorial, you will need medium four weight cotton yarn in one to two colors, a five millimeter or H hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. We're gonna begin by making a slip knot, then chain 16. Feel free to adjust the length of your chain longer or shorter, just be sure to work an even number of chains across. And for this video, I'm going to be making a two-toned coaster, so I'm starting with my first color, which is this gray, and I'm going to refer to it as color A, and then my second color will be color B, which is a light gray. You can still follow along if you're making a solid color coaster, just don't change colors at all. We're going to work our first stitch for row one into the second chain from the hook, but we're gonna be working in the back bumps of the chain. So if you look at your chain from above, you can see a little bump poking out the back, and that's where we're gonna be working our stitches for row one. So into the second chain from the hook, we are going to work a slip stitch. And then we're going to work a half double crochet into the next chain. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the next chain. Then half double crochet into the next chain. Slip stitch into the next chain. And we're going to repeat that across, half double crochet into the next chain, slip stitch into the next chain. And the reason we want to work into the back bumps of the chain is that it helps make the stitches less holy or gappy for when we work the border around our coaster. I found if you just work into the chain as normal, then row one and the border had much bigger gaps between the stitches, and working in the back bumps really helped that. So I'm just going to continue on repeating a half double crochet into the next chain and then a slip stitch into the next and I'm going to stop when I only have two chains left. So when we only have two chains left we are going to make our color change. So we're going to start our last half double crochet as normal but instead of doing that last pull through with our current color we're going to drop our current color behind our work pick up our color B and do that final pull through with color B. And then we're gonna work our last slip stitch with color B. And at the end of row one, our stitch count is now at 15. Chain one and turn. And now we're on to row two. For row two, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch, and then half double crochet into the second stitch, but we're going to change colors on this half double crochet, so we're going to drop our current color, dropping in front of us, picking up our color A, and then continuing the row with color A. So we're going to finish that final pull through, and then slip stitch into the next stitch, then half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and we're just going to repeat that across for row two, half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch. And at the end of row two, our stitch count is still at 15. We're going to chain one in turn. Now on to row three. We are going to work a slip stitch into the first stitch, a half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and we're going to repeat across until we have four stitches left. So just continue to half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next, and repeat until there are four stitches left. So 
So we're going to change colors on that second last half double crochet. So start the stitch as normal, but do the final pull through with color A. So drop your current color behind and pick up color A, finishing that final pull through. They're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, and then slip stitch into the last stitch. And at the end of row three, our stitch count is still at 15. Chain one and turn, and now we're on to row four. For row four, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and then half double crochet in the next, and we're gonna change to color A. So on that final pull through, we're gonna drop our current color in front of us, pick up color A, finish our pull through with color A, and continue on. So we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet in the next, slip stitch in the next, and repeat across for row four. When we reach the end, our stitch count is still at 15. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now for row five, we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet in the next, slip stitch in the next, and we're gonna repeat until we have six stitches remaining. We're gonna start that half double crochet as normal, but for our final pull through, we're gonna drop color A, pick up color B, and do our final pull through with color B. Then we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet in the next, and we're gonna repeat that till the end. At the end of row five, our stitch count is still at 15. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now on to row six. We're gonna work a slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet in the next, slip stitch into the next, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and for our next half double crochet, we are going to change colors. So drop color B in front of us, pick up color A, and finish that final pull through. Then across, we're just going to repeat a slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet in the next, and slip stitch into the next. At the end of row six, our stitch count is still at 15. Chain one and turn. Now on to row seven. For row seven, we're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and we're gonna repeat until eight stitches remain. On this half double crochet, we are going to change colors to color B. So we're gonna drop color A behind us and finish that final pull through with color B and then just repeating across slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, all the way across. At the end of row seven, our stitch count is still at 15. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now onto row eight. We're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch, then half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and we're gonna repeat that two more times. On that half double crochet, we're going to change colors. So we're gonna start it as normal with color B, drop color B in front of us, pick up with color A, and then continuing across, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and repeat all the way to the end. At the end of the row, our stitch count is still at 15. Then we're gonna chain one and turn. 
Now onto row nine, we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next, and we're gonna repeat that one more time. Then we're gonna change to color B, so we're gonna drop color A behind us, and finish that final pull through with color B. Then continuing across, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and repeat all the way across for row nine. At the end of the row, our stitch count is still at 15. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now onto row 10. We're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch, then half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and we're gonna repeat until six stitches remain. On this half double crochet, we're going to change colors, so we're gonna drop color B in front of us, and then finish that final pull through with color A. And then finishing across, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet in the next, and repeat until the end. At the end of row 10, our stitch count is still at 15. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now onto row 11, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and then on that next half double crochet, we're gonna change colors. So drop color A behind us, pick up color B, finish that final pull through, and then finishing across, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and repeat all the way to the end. At the end of row 11, our stitch count is still at 15. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now onto row 12, we're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and we're gonna repeat until only four stitches remain. We're gonna change colors on the second last half double crochet, so drop color B in front of us and finish off the final pull through with color A. And then we're gonna just finish our repeat for the end of the row. At the end of row 12, our stitch count is still at 15. Chain one and turn. Now on to row 13, we are gonna work a slip stitch into the first stitch and then we're gonna change colors on our first half double crochet. So start as normal with color A, and then we're gonna drop color A behind, pick up color B, and finish that final pull through with color B. Then we're just gonna continue our repeat across, so slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next, and we're just gonna repeat that across for row 13. At the end of the row, our stitch count is still at 15. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now on to row 14. We're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and we're gonna repeat until only two stitches remain. On the last half double crochet, we are gonna change colors. So dropping color B in front and picking up color A. Then we're working that last slip stitch with color A. 
At the end of the row, our stitch count is still 15. Now instead of doing our chain one as normal, we're gonna drop color A and we're gonna do our chain one with color B. So do a chain one with color B and then we're gonna turn our work and then we're just gonna do our repeat all the way across. So slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next and just repeat all the way across for row 15. At the end of row 15, our stitch count is still at 15. We're going to chain one and turn. Now on to row 16. We are going to slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and we're just going to repeat all the way across for row 16. And at the end of the row, our stitch count is still at 15. So now we're pretty much done with our coaster and now we're gonna do the border. So you don't have to do a border if you don't want to, but it'll help clean up the edges a little bit. So this is what our coaster is looking like now. So if you like the rough edges, you can just leave it as is. You can cut off all your ends and weave them in, but I'm gonna do a border. So I'm gonna cut off all the ends I'm not using anymore so they're not in the way. So I'm gonna keep my my color B attached and I'm going to cut off my color A and then all of these can be weaved in at the end on the back side. So I'm going to continue on with color B and I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch across the top. Now that we worked one single crochet across the top, working back into that last stitch we worked, we're going to add in a chain one and another single crochet. That's just gonna help us round the corner. Now we're working down the side of our coaster. We're gonna work one single crochet into each row down the side. When we get to the very last stitch, we're gonna change our color. So we're gonna start our single crochet as normal. Then we're gonna drop color B, pick up color A, and pull through. Then we're just gonna continue on. So since we're in the corner now, we just worked a single crochet into that last stitch. So now we're going to also work a chain one and another single crochet into that same stitch. Now working across the bottom of our coaster, we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. Then to help turn the corner, we are going to chain one and single crochet into that same stitch. And then working back up our coaster, we are going to work one single crochet into each row up. When you reach the top of the coaster, we are then going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet we worked for our border. Then you can chain one and tie off your yarn and you cut off any other ends you have and then we're going to weave in all of our ends to the back side, so the wrong side of our coaster. Thank you. 
Once all your ends are weaved in, we are all done and this is what your farmhouse coaster should look like. Thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find this pattern and many more free patterns on my blog, whoshomemade.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.